Hi, this is Greg from Structure Toolkit, and in this video we're going to be going through how to create custom steel sections. You can create custom steel sections through the Sections Properties module, which offers I-beams, channels, angles, CHSs, RHSs, unequal flange I-beams, T-sections, and plates. One of these custom sections can then be imported into a number of the steel design modules, where the custom section can be used in design. For custom sections in analysis, have a look at our analysis standard video. Do note that this will require the full analysis standard package. So to create a custom section as an example, we will open the section properties module. The first options tab gives a bit of a summary of some of the nuances of using this custom section module when comparing to current sizes and data that comes from resources such as the One Steel product catalogs. We then have some options for changing the density of steel and the way the module deals with the rounding of values. And at the bottom there is a button that will create an audit Excel file that will compare the tabulated data in Toolkit's steel library against the custom section calculations in this module. The audit log demonstrates how accurate this module actually is, where you would find that nearly all calculated values are within 0.1% of the tabulated data. At the bottom of the screen there is then tabs for each section type available. For this video we'll create a custom unequal I-beam. So we'll click the U-beam tab. Each tab is structured in a very similar way, with the top section being where we enter our geometry and various steel properties. To the right we also get a section profile that will update as we change the geometry of our section. For example if we make the bottom flange breadth be 100 mils. We can see this update on the profile. You can also change the description of our section at the top here. Some section types have more advanced options such as root and toe radii and also the option for taped flanges, which will also appear on the profile. To keep things simple we will keep our beam without any of this. Something important to remember when using an unequal custom section is which flange will be subject to compression under bending in the x-axis, as this will have an effect on the effective z value of our section. For this section type, the top flange will always be assumed as the compression flange for x-axis bending, which we can see at the top here. Once done with the geometry and properties, make sure the xx plastic centroid button has been pressed as needed in our case. And as we scroll down, we can see all the relevant calculations for this section. And at the bottom, a summary of this section's calculated properties, along with some basic section capacities. What we can now do is go back to the top and export it into the Customs tab by clicking Export. On this tab, we will see all the values that are going to be exported and used in the design modules. If we really wanted to, we could also change the data values before they export it. Do be aware, however, that changing any of these values won't alter any of the other calculated values at this point, as they are all just purely numbers. Once happy, we can click Save Custom, and then save this custom section in a location outside of the project folder, from where we will import our file in later. This also means we can use this custom section in other projects as well. To then import the custom section into a design, we can then open a valid steel module. In this case, I'll just open up Member Design. Click on the Select button to the right, and click load. You can then find the file that we saved, open it up. This will then load the file in and in this case also give us a warning reminding us about the extra consideration needed for unequal sections that we explained earlier. So I'll just click OK. Once done, we are ready to design as normal with this custom section in place. That about covers all you need to know about custom steel sections in Structure Toolkit. Feel free to check out our website and other videos for more tutorials and help with using this software. If you have any questions, please contact our support team via email or by calling us. Thanks for watching.